at this map of volcanoes, what I notice is that the red little dots are not just everywhere. It's not like we just took red dots and sprinkled all them all over the globe. Instead, they seem to be in lines. I notice line right here. I notice a line, oh, that doesn't show very well. Let's try a different color. I notice a line right here. I notice a line right here. I notice a line right here, right here, right here. It's all in lines. And then when I look at the location of these lines, I notice that they're not just random. They're all near the edge of continents. They're, these ones are all right in the ocean. This is right on the edge of the continent. This one's in the continent, but near the edge of the continent. So I notice that these are near the edge of continents. So I'm gonna say that volcanoes are in lines near the edge of the continents. The important thing is that they're not spread everywhere. They're in certain places. Now there are some other ones that are in other places. Like this one's like right in the middle. This one's right in the middle. There are a couple right in the middle here. But I'm saying where they are mostly. Then I can go down here and I'm going to look at the location of earthquakes. Again, I see that they are not spread out all over the place. Like there's large areas in the center here where there's no earthquakes. All of this area has barely any earthquakes. All of this area has barely any earthquakes. These earthquakes are actually in lines. And those lines, again, this looks like kind of the same place I was in before. Oh, they're going like around the edge of the continents mostly. This is kind of around the edge of South America. This is like around the edge. Oh, that was Africa. This is around the edge of South America, right down the edge of South America, right along here, right along the edge of California. But then there's also this other line. Earthquakes also seem to be in a line right in the middle of the ocean. This is actually right along the edge of, um, it's a little further out, but it's a little right near the edge of uh, South um, Antarctica. And this kind of goes in the pathway, that, like the edge of, South, uh, of Antarctica also. This is kind of the middle of this ocean in between Antarctica and Australia. So I'm noticing that these earthquakes are also in lines. That are in the, that are, at the edge of the continent, or they are uh, in the middle of the ocean. Either one. Excellent. So, important words here edge of continents, middle of ocean. Remember those. Then I think, okay. Let me look at the two of these. Well, this line here is on the edge of Asia. Let's see over here. Yep, another line on the edge of Asia. That's India, that's China, edge of Asia. Let's see. There's a line here all the way down North America and South America. I go down here, line, North America, South America. So, a lot of the spots, not every single one, because this there are no volcanoes in this spot. When you look up here, there's not a lot of volcanoes. Mm, there's a few, not a ton of volcanoes there. Um, but we notice that they are mostly in the same spots. So I'm going to say volcanoes and earthquakes are mostly in the same spot. Now, you might wonder why we're talking about all of this. And the reason is that geologists, part of their job is to study the earth, to try to find out where things like volcanoes and earthquakes are going to happen. They need to predict those so that we can stay away from dangerous things. So today we're going to be learning about that. We're gonna learning about the patterns of where volcanoes are and where earthquakes are so that we can predict those things and stay away from those areas. Go back to your tab and you'll answer a question about this.